Hi guys, it's Tanya from Four Girls Jewelry. I receive a lot of requests about links and chains. So today I will share one of my favorite links. It's one approach. I will show you the link and two different looks. So this is the look number one. You can just use that link with the 24 gauge wire for any necklaces you make. And there is another look very similar. Let me see what it is. Here is the link. It's the same exactly link. It's just different approach how you twist them. So um, I use this in my uh, long, it's a short necklace, but just I like when it drips a lot. I have also a lot of questions about this chain. I don't even remember where I got that. It was, it's a commercially done. I didn't make this chain. I make those chains, I make those links, I made the elements, but these thin chains, it was commercially done. So that is a link number two and same earrings. So it's exactly same. I hope you're gonna like it. So let's pick up some 18 gauge wire and start wire wrapping. So I will use 18 gauge wire and here is already pieces that I will use. They are one and three fourths of the inch. And I cut, I usually cut them a lot. Like I will cut for as many lengths that I, as I want. Just, um, I hope you guys use torch because for this project I do use torch. So when you, after you use your torch, they will be much shorter. So that's how much usually, usually take a, this part of metal. Uh, let's see, after you're done with your link, it's one and a half inch long. So that's approximately, Land you're looking for, and I need our block. And I use this curved plastic uh, tool. I use it also for straightening my wires and for curving. So that's the little curve that I will use. You will just make it something like that and one more so we use two for one link and i will make more so then then we'll have two links okay after you curve your wires, your links, you need your hammer and I will hammer uh, only, only this part. I hope you can see. Yep. So I leave this part because I want to use it to curve around the other wire and I would leave that part too. So let me quickly do it. So there is the second link. Now, When we making the the loop here, make sure the wire your your wire curve going this way, and your uh, 
part when you so this goes up not the other way it goes up it's hard to do when the telephone is right in my face <laughs> okay so we have one and i will quickly make the other one so we have the other one two now for the one with 24 gauge we will put one so we need it we need it to put them like this so it will be one start it's like a you see that I will put on top and then go up and uh, and I need 24 gauge wire so let me grab quickly 24 I know I have it yes I do I do have it so the 24 gauge I will just uh, on top and just go where they meet I'll put one two three four go in the opposite direction and then do again one two three four and you cut the wire Good. long pliers cut the wires Make sure that little tag is goes inside. Same with other part. <laughs> I don't know why I have I have two of those for some reason. That's why I interfere. <laughs> That's so funny. Um okay. Always after I finish the link, I have a rubber mallet and make sure you hammer with the rubber mallet. Rubber mallet really nicely set them how they supposed to be and your link will be perfect. And when you put in a little bit of sulfur, polish it a little bit, it looks beautiful. I like the hammer part that flatten a little bit. And I also like the other way when we do the same link, but just lock with these little tails. So let me quickly hammer that one. It will be noisy, but not the camera. So I have one. And we have the second one. Coming up. Here's the second one. Same thing. We just uh, put where the curve is down and use your pliers, round nose pliers, make that one. And then the second one, same story, it's going down. So our pliers up here and making the little curve. Now, same thing, put them like they're supposed to be, up here, and what we have to do is, it has to be very gently curved. still soft after using the heat but just be careful when you do it like better to do it slowly so it will not snap on you when it's nicely curved 
then you can use your rubber mallet and tap it tap 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 and you have beautiful link for the earrings i really like how the earrings look or if you use it in your uh, pieces like i use uh, in the waterfall necklace I want to show you how I put these beads here because uh, for for that let me bring the closer earring so I hope you will see so I wire wrap a little a piece of 24 gauge wire here so I can put two jump rings and then whatever seed beads or beads you want to use in order them to sit like this so you have your link right can be any link it can be this link or the other link and i will use 24 gauge so we'll quickly show because it's uh i like how how they sit mm. i need a little piece of 24 gauge right there. i just had a second ago um you start it you put it your 24 gauge wire inside and i would wire wrap not much i did uh i think i did like three got some kind of cold i'm over it but still very weak so um, I was not even able to work on any chains. Didn't have any strength to do it. But it was last week. Still, still didn't completely recover. So maybe if I will feel better, I will start working on the chains. Also, a lot of requests about rings, and there is a tons of different requests. I guess I will do it now. I know what you. Uh, I love the comments that you left and um, I will definitely work on them and I will post those later okay so we have three or four then you take round nose plier and just make something like that That's the measure, and you go inside. Make sure you hold that before you push your wire through. The wire doesn't like me today. <laughs> it just didn't wanna go. Let's see. Okay. So we have one. Now we can hold that one because we needed that measure. And we need to wire wrap about two times again in that same same place. Let's see we have One. If it makes sense to pre anneal 24 gauge for this kind of project or takes thinner gauge because I like 24, it's more stable. Okay. So we need two. Okay, and then the same again. So we make one more, because I like two. And then sometimes it's because of the size. You put too many wraps it could be tight space for wrapping right but try to do with that so we have 
that stage if you uh, have just make sure the same they are same size here these two okay so we have two if you will have no room anymore here I the same on the earrings I just go to the to this the choir and just make a few wraps there you can go all the way to the top if you want it but then make sure if you make earrings it's the same or links they are like the same so you can do that right and cut nicely tuck your wire And in those two, I will put my two jump rings because I wanted them to face this way. And then when you jazz it with any beads you have, it looks beautiful. Guys, I hope you like this idea. It can be used for so many. It could be like a simple bar. Could be bars if you curve it for your... Um, bracelets can it be used in many many um, projects i like it i hope i will receive good comments about it and there is only two necklaces that i did with that i made this one and i made that long one not really long but i, I don't know why i call it long <laughs> but it's not long <laughs> it's just a, a it has tons of different chains and I like that. I like because I want to make something that will match earrings. I'm going to make earrings and the necklace. Looks beautiful together as a set. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next Tuesday with uh, hopefully chain idea. <laughs> hopefully I will have a time to create something new. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.